Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And first of all, I want to thank you all so much for the birthday wishes. I am thrilled to be 67 years old because I know a whole lot of people didn't have that pleasure and I really am very appreciative. Today I'm going to be answering some questions that I got on my last video. I'm going to be announcing the winners of my the Timeless Skincare and the Skin Diva. And if I have time, I'm going to put a one of my vintage quilts at the end. I've got all of them filmed. When I was getting ready to film this video, I was looking at old videos because I got a lot of questions and I wanted to have some photos. I noticed that on some of my old videos that it says paid promotion or there were non-skippable ads. If you ever see that, number one, I have never been paid anything to do a video and I've never put in an ad that was not skippable. So if you ever see that and you have the time to leave a comment, just please do and I'll go in there and change it. I don't know what has happened, but I'd appreciate it if you'd let me know. You should always be able to skip any of the ads on my videos and I've, again, I've never been paid to do a video. You know, there is absolutely no right way or wrong way. Well, I'm sure there's wrong ways, but everybody's skin care is individualized to that person. So the only thing that I can share is what works for me and how I corrected some of the issues. I worked in a hospital for over 30 years and there weren't very many things that every doctor agreed upon. In fact, back in the day, they would have something called standing orders. So every doctor in the hospital, if if their patient couldn't sleep, had a temp, you know, had all these, you could just go to these orders and every doctor had something different they wanted. Some doctors didn't want the fevers treated until they hit 102. Some doctors wanted a certain sleep med. I mean, there it's really hard to get anyone in healthcare to agree 100% on anything. So, and I think that's important to say because not everybody agrees on absolutely anything. The only thing that I use that there is science-based research is Retin-A. And there is a plethora of information on the benefits of Retin-A. Some people can use it, some people can't. And everything else that I used would be more, be, be considered like antidotal or uh, evidence-based. And you know, when I use something and it does well for me, I'm the evidence. But it's not scientifically researched. I think that's important for you to know. I have never had any type of procedure. I had a lot of questions about my eyelids and I, I've never had anything done. Not that I wouldn't have. If, it would, if everything that was available now would have been available in my late 40s, mid 50s, I, I mean, I, I was 55 12 years ago. And let me tell you, Botox and fillers weren't talked about, at least in my little Southern Illinois town. But I probably would have considered it then. I will never say never, but I cannot see myself ever having anything done. It's almost kind of like a challenge to me just to do what I do at home and to see how long I can have my skin look as good as it can for as long as it can. So that, that answers your question. No, I've never had anything done with the exception of what I do here at home. The number one question, how did I get my hoods to, to recede, to come up, to have more eyelid space? And I'm going to link a video up here and below on how I apply my Retin-A. I do not put Retin-A on my eyelids. I do not put Retin-A close to my eyes. If you don't want to watch that video, I will just share with you what I think helped because this was the only thing that I did for that year. And I'm going to put a photo up here of me before I started and me after one year. And yeah, I do look older than I did after one year, but I am. I'm Five years older than I was and it really took to the one-year mark that I really could see a difference. I use a very small amount of Retin-A and I use it Monday through Saturday. My skin has adapted well. I put it here all over my forehead. I put it here and I bring it down to my eyebrows and the only thing that I can think of and I don't know if it makes sense or not I think it, it definitely helped the wrinkles on my forehead, but also Retin-A builds collagen. I think the tightening of my forehead 
lifted my hoods and it gave me more lid space. That is the only thing I can think of. I don't think there's anything else. I don't, and I also don't do facial exercises, but I, I might one of these days, or, you know, yoga, facial yoga, but that may be something I might end up doing, but we'll just see. But that is what helped my hoods. And I think, like I said, it was about a year before I could see them actually lifting. I was asked about what gadgets and devices I use. The only thing I use consistently is that red light therapy for my lips and I do it for three minutes in the morning every morning just because it's easy. I think let, I think there are so many great gadgets, appliances out there that anything with electrical stimulation I cannot use. I do still use my Clarisonic. I use it probably twice a week. And I don't know what I'm going to do when I can't find any more brush heads. I have two more, but I think it's, I, I really have enjoyed the Clarisonic and it still works. I got so many questions about consistency and I will tell you, I am excellent at night because all I do at night, everybody cleanses their face and I do that late afternoon. And then all I do is I put on my Retin-A Monday, th Monday through Saturday and on uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I use my Grande Brow and my Grande Lash, and then when I then I go to bed. And that's when I put on my hydrating eye cream under my eyes and on my eyelids. And I mean, it doesn't get easier than that. So I think I have been 100% compliant doing my evening skincare. And on Sunday, that's when I derma roll, so I don't use Retin-A that night. As far as the morning goes, I'm going to guess six out of seven days, I do my whole routine. Possibly one to two days, you know. I always use my Miracle Water in the morning. I love it. I I use my Argaroline, the one drop. I use that every morning. And then I use the, the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Brightening Cream. So after I've done those steps, I'm already dressed. I go into the living room in the kitchen and six out of seven times, I will put on my Vitamin C Serum and that's in my refrigerator. And a couple of day or two a week, I may skip the rest. I may not even get back in here, but most of the time I come back and I finish. So I would say I'm five and three quarter days a week in the morning, I do all my skincare, so. And when it comes to derma rolling, I have missed one week and and that's it. And and I just didn't want to do it. There was no reason. I was kind of sick and tired of being in. I thought, by George, I don't have to do the derma rolling, and I didn't. So I did skip a week. But it, it, since I do it on Sunday, it's just a routine that I got into. So that's how compliant I am. How did my, another question was, how did my 11s get better? Two things, I think it's a, vita, it's a Retin-A, and the other thing is derma rolling. They have gotten better. I did. I used to have some deep lines here and here that are gone. My forehead lines don't bother me a bit, but you know, I am derma rolling my whole face now. I had several questions from people who could not use Retin-A and what I would suggest. There's a lot of people that have had some good results on Differin and that can be purchased at a drugstore or on Amazon. I've never used it. It used to be a prescription drug, but it isn't any longer. And you may want to do a little bit of research on that. And I don't know much about retinols anymore at all. I used them. I started my skincare. I first started using skincare when I was 57. I used the Philosophy skincare line. I used their retinols for a good three years. And I think that's when my skin adapted really well to, to Retin-A. And I got a lot of questions on moving up in strength. In the United States, Retin-A, or the generic name is tretinoin, that it's a prescription. So after I was using the 0.05 for a good long time, I talked to my doctor, I talked about going up to the 0.1%, and that's what I'm on now. And I asked him, I said, I don't want to double it right away. I said, what do you think of, of me mixing it, going ahead and getting the prescription for the 0.1%? and mixing with the 0.05. Well, I always keep glass bottles, and in fact, I bought some, and these are, I think, 15 mils, which is a half an ounce. So, so I put my 0.05 Retin-A in here, and I added just a little bit of the 
and I used my little stainless steel dental tool and I mixed it up. So I didn't fill this up by any means. I probably, it was probably about three weeks to a month's worth and I just mixed it up really well and I shut the lid and I used from this. After three to four weeks when it, when it was empty, I washed it again and then I added more of the 0.1% in this jar and I used it. And it took me about a year to build up to the 0.1% retin-A. So I, if I were you, I would ask my doctor because anytime when you go from the 0.025 to the 0.05, you're doubling the strength. The key to be able to use it, Retin-A, is not to have bad reactions, and that really did help me. Okay, this next question I got quite a bit, and this is gonna, this is very hard for me to answer. It's how often do I replace my derma rollers? The most important thing on derma rollers is to clean them well and not to hit the needle on any container. When I replace my derma roller, I put it so carefully in there. I clean my derma roller after use, and you can use denture. I've, I have never done it, but I spray it thoroughly with alcohol. And then I carefully place it in its container so none of the needles get dull. Basically what I do is I replace it by the feel. My 0.5 millimeter, I just use it once a month. And for a long time, I only used it like here, you know, the certain areas that I used it on. And mine lasted 12 months, but it was only taking about three minutes to do my face before I started doing the whole thing, you know. And and I felt comfortable with that. It It's a personal choice. You know, even though I'm doing my whole face, I'm doing it in less than five minutes. So what I kind of think about, some people have like a 15 minute routine on their face. Now that I'm doing it all over my face, I may replace some more, but you can tell. You can tell how sharp it is, how it feels on your face. And you know, you you will know very quickly if your needles have become come dull. You go by the directions that come with whatever device you use, whatever derma roller you use, but just make sure it is clean. I had quite a few questions on the timeless vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid. It's now in a pump. They did have some problems with it in the beginning and a lot of the pumps leaked, but they've changed, they have, uh, they've taken care of that, but I'm not gonna put mine in the freezer. I, I don't, I think that, you know, I have never had any problems freezing my vitamin C but I think in the container that it's in, I wouldn't even try it because I think it might best. And Skin Diva is going to continue using the glass dropper bottle. So, you know, I put their ingredients are pretty well identical. Well, they are identical. And that's something else that you ask about. If you have a product that is working for you, but you want to see if you can find something a little less expensive, you know, like if there's 20 ingredients in it, just type in on your computer, like the first 10 ingredients and search. And a lot of times you'll find some things that have the same ingredients that your skin likes. So I hope I answered your questions. I will leave some videos below and I'll try to indicate what time something starts that you might be interested in. I'll put them in the cards, however they work. I'm not sure how that is. And if the, I... This is my second vintage quilt that I'm showing. And I just put this over my bed upstairs, and it's some sort of a four-star quilt. This was made by my mother-in-law, and to my best knowledge, it was in the 1950s. Each of the squares has 17 different pieces. There's a close-up of the squares, and she just used fabric that she had on hand. She was quite a seamstress. And that's the back side of the quilt. It's all hand quilted and hand bound. I roll my quilts and I re-roll them about every six months and I keep them in a closet with the door shut. And now I want to announce the winners of my giveaway. And I had one winner from Skin Diva and the winner will receive a derma roller of their choice, the size that they want. They will receive their vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid, and then you'll have your choice of either the Argaroline or the Matrixyl 3000. So there's gonna be a total of three products from Skin Diva, and the winner of the Skin Diva products is C. Ocasio. Congratulations, C. And I have two winners of the Timeless Beauty Box, 
and that has a vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid, hyaluronic acid, Matrixyl 3000, the hydrating eye cream, and the squalane. And the winners are Steph Hilt. Congratulations, Steph. And Nova Norman. Congratulations, Nova. Timeless and Skin Diva provided these gifts for you. All you need to do is leave a comment below and I'll let you know to, how to get in touch with me. I was going to put on a full face of makeup today. All I did was powder. I put powder on my eyelids. I put on lipstick and blush. I just can't get into doing a full face of makeup. I can't. And this is just real life. And I appreciate you coming along with me in my real life. It is all good. I want you all to take care and uh, I will see you in my next video. I'm six years older, but like anything with radioactive, felt it. Okay, I think I pretty well do that red. So what I did, anyway,